I started helping with youth group this year um, after joining them on the mission trip last year and it has just been a really cool experience to um, hang out with the middle school girls this year and get to know them. Um, I feel like um, the girls have even just developed such strong relationships with one another. It was so cool to see by the end of the year they were so comfortable with each other and um, just developed a lot of friendships um, and grew a lot in the word and they were more involved. Um, so that was just really cool. Um, and then to see them work together on the mission trip was really um, cool as well. Um, just seeing the way that they interact with one another and encouraged one another and cheered each other on. It was just really um, valuable for me to see and to experience that alongside um, them. I had the privilege of helping out with youth group this year and it has been a real blast. Uh, I've been in charge of the middle school boys and we have a lot of fun uh, discussing, you know, a lot of questions that you wouldn't think middle school boys would come up with, but they do. It's been really cool to be a part of their lives. We really have an incredible group of middle schoolers and high schoolers that, that go to our church and, and they're so willing and open to learning and receiving guidance. We've had some really interesting discussions about um, things, uh, you know, as complex and yet simple as how do I love my sister when she really annoys me, um, all the way to like, why does God allow pain and suffering? And why, why does this happen in the Bible? Why does God allow bad things to happen? And why does he allow it to happen in our lives? It just has been really interesting to see their responses and I feel like so much less of my job has been like teaching as much as just facilitating their discussion. It's been really cool to see them think and process and, and learn. Yeah, I had a really great year serving with the youth group um, and I'm really excited to be able to come back uh, in the fall here and, and help continue leading. Uh, about a year ago, I knew there was a need uh, in the youth ministry. So I just felt a nudge by the Holy Spirit that God was calling me to get involved with the youth ministry. And um, to be honest, at my years of age, I was concerned that I may not fit in well or I may not be able to relate to the youth. I just felt a little out of touch and I was a little nervous about that. I started helping out on Sunday nights, helping with the leadership. I was immediately felt just like I was right where God wanted me, connecting with the kids, um, building relationships with the kids, encouraging them. And I tell you what, um, I received more encouragement, I think, than any of the youth. So that led us into the mission trip to the Happy Church. The first night, uh, Pastor Allen, he's the associate pastor there, he said we were going to be helping out at the Clay Hole campus, um, cleaning up from the flood that occurred two years ago, uh, because their focus so far has been restoring the main campus there. And Alan shared that two years ago, he was actually called to be the campus pastor there at Clay Hole and build that church, encourage the folks there. Before he could even get started with his family there, the flood hit and um, just devastated that campus. Um, so he said, we're the first group that were, would actually go into the sanctuary and gut it and, and strip the paneling and clean up the dust and, and dirt. I just sensed that when he shared that, the youth connected and and uh, got behind that vision. And from there on, they were just eager to help out. This was hot, dirty work, but our kids were just awesome. They just, they just poured their lives into that. We just saw so much community with the folks there in Jackson at the Happy Church, as well as just community within the group. And God just did wonderful things. Up until last week, I really had nothing to do with the youth in this church. I got invited to go down on the trip to Happy Church. In my own way, I, w I sat and observed a lot, which because I sat and observed quietly, it got me killed playing mafia because I wasn't saying a whole bunch, so obviously I had to be a bad guy, but that's neither here nor there. What I did observe is that we have got a fantastic group of young people in this church. I was thoroughly impressed with the dedication, the faith they displayed, their manners. They were just a neat bunch of kids. It was, it was a lot of fun down there cooking for them and, and serving them while they served the Happy Church. And I'll do it again. It was a privilege, though, to be part of this amazing trip to the Happy Church. 
and getting to share the experience with your youth and the leaders. I'm here to tell you parents of my church family, you're doing a great job. This generation is challenged with the world very hard to navigate. Please know that you are building the shining light of Jesus in each of your children and it is shining brightly. Thank you for sharing that firm foundation with your family. And church family, thank you for loving on these kids as you do. It takes a village and you're also doing a great job making them feel seen, loved and appreciated and most importantly, loved by the Lord and Savior.